speaks to the book King Birdie, who has a stamina problem, so he goes to a doctor to try to get help. I want I want to go see the King's speech for two reasons. One, I thought it looked good, and two, it won Best Picture, like over like Inception, Hunger, Twenty Seven Hours, and Toy Story Three movies like that. Like it uh beat out those movies. So uh, I want to go see the King's speech if I'm high expectations and. I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was an excellent film. That it had great acting, a great story, and um, I just really thought there was an excellent, excellent movie with great characters. It really sympathized for like, like um, I actually kind of like cared for um, King, like Burry or something, and um. And I seriously wanted to jump into the screen and punch uh, his brother Edward when he was making fun of him due to his stammering. But uh, but I I thought the movie was really well done. The acting was great. The, the story was great. How he said, but I just thought it was very. I just loved it. I thought it was well done. Um. Uh. Most of the actors I haven't even heard of, except for, like, Helena, something who plays this Gulls, who plays this Gala chick, um, in Harry Potter, which I hate, which I still kind of hate because she told Dobby, <laughs> um, but, um, I know that this review is pretty short, but I don't, I don't really know what else to say, I just thought the King's Speech was a really good movie, I really enjoyed it. So, I would definitely go see it, but they're, like, re-releasing the movie for a PG-13 cut, which is really stupid. I would just wait till it comes out on DVD and just buy the R-rated cut, because I saw the R-rated version. It was the very first R-rated movie I ever saw in theaters. <laughs> but, uh, I would still just buy the R-rated cut on DVD, because I just think it's stupid that they, um, they're re-releasing it PG-13. That's just stupid.